Good morning. The issue of immigration should be one of compassion, and that compassion should always start with the safety and the security of the American people. One of the most important ways that we can protect the American people is to enforce the laws that ensure their safety and security. That's why as the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Texas back in 2008, I coordinated the arrest of 300 illegal aliens in one day and prosecuted them, not just for being here illegally, but for committing other crimes against American citizens while they were here. Now, unfortunately, for the last eight years, we've seen the devastating and often tragic consequences of an administration that refuses to enforce our immigration laws. Consequences like the call I received last year telling me that three of my constituents, a 36-year-old fire captain by the name of Peter Hacking, his four-year-old daughter Ellie, his two-year-old son Grayson, were all killed in an accident caused by a previously deported illegal alien. Sadly, almost every member of Congress could relate a similar tragic story because when there's no deterrent to bad behavior, when there's no consequences for those who violate our laws or help them to do so, it happens over and over again. There's no story more tragic than that of Kate Steinle, who was gunned down in broad daylight a little over two years ago by an illegal alien who had previously been deported five times on seven felony charges. So this week, the People's House is saying enough is enough. We are a nation of laws, and we're going to enforce those laws. Kate's Law and the No Sanctuary for Criminals Act will be a deterrent effect for those who violate our immigration laws and those who try to help them to do so. And I'm grateful to have a president who is willing to work with this House to finally protect the American people and provide them with real compassion. Thank you.